Have you ever experienced a situation that feels strangely familiar as if it happened before? Can you explain this sensation? Welcome, my friends, to the enigmatic world of déjà vu. This term, borrowed from the French, translates to already seen, and it's used to describe that eerie sensation we sometimes get, where we feel as though we're reliving a moment we've already experienced. But here's the catch. In reality, this moment is entirely new. Déjà vu is a psychological phenomenon, a trick of the mind that makes us believe we're stuck in some sort of temporal loop. One moment you're going about your day and the next, you're caught in this uncanny valley of familiarity and novelty. The room you're in, the conversation you're having, the song playing in the background, it all seems as if you've seen, heard and felt it before. Now you might be thinking that this is a rare occurrence, something that only happens to a select few, but that's where you'd be wrong. Deja vu is a common experience, one that has been reported by approximately 60 to 70% of people at least once in their lives. That's right, more than half of us have felt this strange sensation of reliving a moment. But what causes deja vu? Is it a glitch in our brain, a hiccup in our memory, a tear in the fabric of space-time perhaps? Or is it something more mystical, a peek into a past life or an alternative reality? The truth is, we don't really know. Despite decades of research and countless theories, deja vu remains a mystery, a puzzle that we've yet to solve. So the next time you find yourself in a situation that feels uncannily familiar, take a moment to appreciate the mystery of it. You're experiencing deja vu, a phenomenon that has baffled scientists and intrigued philosophers for centuries. Deja vu, a truly intriguing mystery of the human mind, isn't it? So what causes this eerie sensation of deja vu? Diving into the depths of this conundrum, we find a myriad of theories each attempting to shed light on this puzzling experience. The first theory we'll explore is the neurological explanation. Scientists suggest that déjà vu might be a result of a temporary glitch in our brain's information processing system. Imagine the brain as a complex network of highways, with information zipping along these routes at lightning speed. Occasionally, there might be a small hiccup, a momentary rerouting of information along unfamiliar paths. This detour could create the illusion of familiarity, giving rise to that uncanny feeling of déjà vu. Next, let's delve into the psychological perspective. This viewpoint attributes déjà vu to a mismatch in our memory systems. It's as if our brain is trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. The peg in this case is a new experience that our brain mistakenly tries to jam into the round hole of an old memory. The result? an experience that feels both new and familiar at the same time, the essence of déjà vu. Now let's venture into the realm of the speculative. Some theories go beyond the boundaries of conventional science and propose more whimsical explanations. For instance, certain spiritual perspectives suggest that déjà vu could be a reflection of a past life experience. The idea is that our soul, having lived multiple lives, recognizes a situation from a previous existence, triggering a sense of déjà vu. Even more speculative are theories rooted in the concept of parallel universes. These theories propose that déjà vu might be a glimpse into an alternate reality, a brief overlap between our universe and another, where we are living a slightly different version of our lives. So, déjà vu can be a brain glitch, a memory mismatch, or maybe just maybe a glimpse into a parallel universe. But how does déjà vu relate to our memory? This is where our exploration takes an intriguing turn. Déjà vu, this eerie sensation of familiarity, is believed to be a memory-based experience. Fascinating, isn't it? Let's dive a bit deeper. Think of your brain as a complex high-tech library and your memories as books neatly arranged on the shelves. Your temporal lobe is the diligent librarian responsible for organizing, storing and retrieving these books. Now, déjà vu is like stumbling upon a book you don't recall reading, yet the story feels eerily familiar. It's as if you've lived through the pages before, but what causes this? It's believed that certain triggers in our environment can prompt our brain to retrieve a memory. These triggers could be anything, a scent wafting through the air, a melody playing in the background, or a scene we come across. When our brain recognizes these triggers, it instinctively reaches out to the memory shelves and pulls out a book, a memory. And in that instant, we experience déjà vu, a sense of familiarity, a sense that we've lived this moment before. But here's the catch. Sometimes our brain retrieves a memory, but it doesn't fully register in our conscious mind. 
It's like pulling out a book but not opening it. Yet the story feels familiar, why? Because in reality, the story is buried deep within our subconscious. We've read it before, but we just don't consciously remember it. This subconscious recall is what gives us the uncanny sensation of deja vu. It's fascinating how our brain works, isn't it? Memories, often tucked away in the corners of our mind, can surface in the most unexpected ways. And deja vu is one of these intriguing manifestations, a cryptic message from our brain, a clandestine peek into our memory vault. So, what we perceive as deja vu might just be our brain playing back a memory. Deja vu is not just a brain phenomenon, it has also found its way into our pop culture. Yes, this uncanny sensation has left its indelible mark on the canvas of human creativity, inspiring a plethora of movies, books, and songs over the years. Let's take a trip down memory lane and revisit some of the most iconic instances of deja vu in pop culture. Remember the movie, The Matrix? This science fiction classic used deja vu as a sign of a glitch in the system, a warning that something in the fabricated reality was being changed. The scene where Neo sees the same black cat twice not only amplified the suspense, but also reinforced the film's central theme of questioning reality. The world of literature isn't far behind in exploring this phenomenon. In his novel Replay, Ken Grimwood uses deja vu to weave a gripping narrative about a man who repeatedly lives his life over and over again, retaining the memories of each cycle. Here, deja vu serves as a conduit for the protagonist's existential reflections, highlighting the cyclical nature of life and destiny. On the musical front, Various artists have incorporated the concept of deja vu in their lyrics to evoke a sense of familiarity or longing. Take the song Deja Vu by Beyonce, for instance. It uses the term to describe the intense, recurring feelings of love she has for her partner, thereby adding an emotional depth to the song. In all these instances, deja vu is often portrayed as something supernatural or eerie, adding to its intrigue and mystery. Its portrayal in pop culture underscores our collective fascination with this phenomenon, reflecting our curiosity and desire to understand the unknown. So whether it's a cryptic warning in a dystopian world, a narrative device in an engrossing novel, or a lyrical expression of intense emotions, Deja Vu continues to captivate the human imagination. From brain to books to big screen, Deja Vu continues to fascinate us. So what have we learned about this mysterious phenomenon called Deja Vu? We've delved deep into the enigmatic world of deja vu, that uncanny sensation of having experienced a moment before. We've explored various theories behind its occurrence, from glitches in our brain's information processing to the possibility of parallel universes. We also discovered its intimate connection to memory, especially the intriguing concept of split perception, where the brain perceives an event twice simultaneously, leading to a sense of deja vu. Moreover, we've seen how pop culture, from movies to music, has often used deja vu as a narrative device, adding an extra layer of intrigue to their storytelling. But despite our best efforts, deja vu remains, in essence, an unsolved riddle of the human mind, a puzzle that we are yet to fully comprehend.